Have a look at this. Is it a dog? Is it a panther? Is it both? Well, kind of. This is Canis panther, a dog, a breed developed around 1970 by a group of dedicated fanciers that loved not only dogs, but protection dogs. This is their story. Scorpio Jones, Michael Stratton, and Lucas Lopez developed this breed using a few different component breeds. As you can probably tell, there's a great deal of Doberman Pinscher. That was rather like the base, and the other ingredients were black Labrador Retrievers, black American Staffordshire Terriers, and black Great Danes. You see, they loved the Doberman Pinscher, but they needed something a little bit bigger. And uh, these dogs do get big. 140 pounds and pretty darn tall and uh, very intimidating. I've had the pleasure of working with a few of these dogs and they always impress. The Canis Panther is a hybrid dog breed that would fall firmly in the category of a ban dog. A ban dog is a dog that has various admixtures of different dogs in them. Ordinarily, pit bull or, or bulldogs and mastiffs. Now, some people would put a very fine point and say English Mastiff, American Pit Bull Terrier, but the fact of the matter is any terrier type dog bred with any Mastiff type dog essentially would be a band dog. And this one is one bad band dog. I love the way that they look. I love their temperament and the way that they work. They are an expensive dog. They are a very dominant dog. They hit like a freight train with the power of the Mastiff and the strength of an American Pit Bull Terrier, but sure are classy looking like the Doberman Pinscher. I mean, have a look at that head. What a beautiful dog. Since the Canis Panther is a relatively new breed, they do not suffer yet from very many congenital health defects, which is a very good thing. They are a big dog and they can have some big dog issues bad elbows, bloat, and even issues with their eyes. They are a dominant dog breed, not for an inexperienced dog owner. Highly protective, highly territorial, and dog aggressive. You have to really train these boys. Great dog for the right owner. If you can afford to feed it, if you can afford the insurance that you probably need, and you can afford a high fence in a good yard, wonderful breed, and I think you would be safe with them. <laughs>